Hi everyone, um, I've got a little project, this has been on the go for a while, um, I got that far and then gave up because I lost the mojo with it. It's just a canvas, a small one split, it is for somebody, I'm actually doing it as a gift. So what I've got, a couple of owls, little foam owls who have no bottoms because I cut them off because they're going to lay like that. Uh, I've got some leaves that I've done, they're the Tim Holtz leaves and I, do you remember I did a load of different colours and whatever, embossed them all. So I've got some of those to use, because it's the right colour for what I need. I've also got some red berries. Some of these, like a beigey biscuit colour berries. The pink background ignore, because that's going to be painted. And I've got uh, various coloured flowers that were gifted to me that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using some brown paint, which I'll do the inside of the box uh, of the canvas first, and then the espresso. And I need to get some more of that if it's uh, we can get it anywhere because I'm running out. But for now, we'll just pop the birds to one side. I've taken a piece of the uh, foam board, and what I've done is I've cut it smaller than the frame, like that. With the frame, I just cut it into eight and then peeled it all back, uh, glued it down. This is done like the brick wall texture uh, using some modelling paste. And then I just um, went over it with some ink. But that's going to be fine for what I need. So right now I'm just going to cover the board, which isn't hard. And... Uh, Try and get it done as quick as, as we can. there and then what we're going to do because that's given it a really good uh, texture uh. <laughs> is I'm just going to give it a quick lick of paint this is just brown acrylic paint come on come on whenever you are It's a coming. Let me just try and get some more of this out. I'll do it and get some of that out. Right, I'm going to take a little bit of water. And we're just going to play around with this right now. Of course, when the fibres get wet, some may come apart, but that's fine, don't worry about it. Let's give me a nice background to what I want. And then to that. We should make bottles that they do spray properly all the time. Okie dokie. Now, we're just going to dab this on. I like randomly just to give the background an added colour and that's fine 
That'll do. I'm not fussed. Let me soak my brush. What you've got to be careful now is drying it because this board will lift. The top cover of the foam can lift. So we have to do this as best we can to get it done. Some of the fibres have started to split, so you can actually see that as well in the background, which is great. It, it, you know, it's uh, giving it a really good texture and look. Yeah, it's started to lift slightly, so just press that back down. And that's, you know, got a nice background to that. Uh, and then all I'm going to do is to glue this on, basically. So hopefully the glue gun's hot enough. Okay, take that and straight away pop that on. You know, I can colour up the back if I choose to, but uh, right now I'm not that fussed about it. I will do it before it's given out. Yeah, that's great. Perfect, perfect for what I want. Uh, and then all I'm going to do is just give the inside um, a coat of this and th this all over the outside as well. So I'm just going to get my brush back. And I just need to dab that in there. And just... scrape over the brickwork it's just to help the brickwork stand out a little bit just like that not doing any more than that to it, I don't think it needs it. Regarding paint, I mean. No, I like that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the owls in first and then I can build around the owls. So I'm just going to pop them in like that. The home of the owls. Ignore that bit of 
glue there, that's going to go away. I decided to put two owls in my little picture. I'll move you up a bit. There. Let's take out some of these bits. I do like playing around with this sort of thing, you know, so I'll just pop that in while that's kind of wet. And you can have them anywhere. Put you know, put them anywhere you want. I'm just dropping, dropping, whopping, I said, dropping a little bit of glue here and there and just popping these bits in. Okay, let's have a look. <clears throat> Oops, hit the uh, owls thing a bit. Get another one like that. Just so we get a little bit of that. Um, and then I'm going to put some of these leaves in. Now what I like about these leaves is I can cut them to size and to shape. And I've still got the pattern to them. Like that. And I can find my knife. I'm also just going to rough them up a little bit. I don't want them straight and perfect. And then what I'm going to do is also fold them so it gives them that look. I'm not even colouring the edges. I want that rough colour, uh, that rough look. Like that. Want a little bit darker. So I hope you can see what I'm doing.
just and what I can do is just touch that there pop that in there and I just want one more little leaf here I'm just going to fit another leaf in down there, if at all possible, like that. Not another one actually. Let's just have a look at this. And then what I might do is just take some of these and cut them into smaller leaves, rough up the edges. Place the odd one here. Oh. Shall we get two? Yeah, I think we get two out of that. I only want them small, you see. Like that. And then what I've got is just to put a little bit of colour in it, some red berries. I like to put a little bit of colour in. And I'm just going to do a couple of these. And just bend that. And stick that there where I've just put those two small leaves. So I've put the berries in there. Now what I've got is just some small flowers. I'm not using the ones I was going to use. Uh, I'm going to change. But these are going to be coloured so don't worry about the colour. I just want them to be in the right, you know, the right size and in the right place. For the project that I've done. I 
do have some little brown ones in that that I can use. And what I like about it is the tones, the colours, the oranges in the birds themselves. And I don't want to hide all the brickwork, but I do want to have some of it um, covered with flowers. So... Yeah, I quite like that. I just got another flower to put in there, I think. Just there. Yeah, that's quite pretty. And then what I'm going to do with that is just give it a whole coat of varnish Great, I made up with that. Um, what I am going to do is just put a tiny squirt of water over the flowers to help that ink soak. Uh, that will just dry naturally and I can go over that with the glue again. That's nothing. So basically that's it. Um, I do. I've got to go around the edge. Sorry, I'm just going to go around the edge. So if I hold on to the, that's it. Hmm. 
and that will protect and seal the colour on the edge. And there you go. Um, that's what I've come up with. So I hope that helps. Um, it's not to, when you're doing a project, don't panic, don't worry, don't faff about, just do it. In fact, I'm just going to blob some of this on that while it's wet because it will dry clear. Um, I just want to make sure it has a nice cut over it all. And just blob around that as well. You can re-gloss your berries and things like that, that's nothing. And that will all fall into uh, together and look really nice when it's dried properly and you can see it properly. So there's a nice little project, I hope you like that. It is going out to somebody. That's all done. I'm chuffed with it. I think it's come out really nice. I like that bit of brightness within all that darkness. And uh, I think that's uh, looking great. So that's it for now. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.